And we're back! Um, Yay! We're ready to continue on with more Echo. Uh, I've shown to the others that it has been over two months since we last played Echo. Nine weeks at the very least. Maybe ten weeks. I don't know. So, Chase, why have you been ignoring me? What did I do? Come on. Look, you got uh, legs missing. Look, Leo, I like, mean... we, we had like, I had a whole bunch of stuff I wanted to take care of. I moved. I moved far away from you. I changed my number. Yeah. I changed my address. Chase wasn't ready to establish boundaries, okay, Leo? Jeez. <laughs> 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 All right, anyway. So, uh, whenever you're ready, Harry. My mind's a bursting. My heart's a palpitating. Let's do this. <laughs> what? what just happened? I don't know. I guess I, I have haven't a had a catchphrase. You, oh, no. you killed. You killed my cat. Guys, oh, that's unfortunate. Dying. Cat twenty twenty. Um. Hey, got time to talk, Chase? All right. Sure. No. I gotta no. talk to Leah. I don't want to talk as to Leo. He scares me. As much as the guy that voices me wishes we could just say sure. Actually, I wanted to talk to Leo for a bit. Oh, okay. I understood. I'll suppose I'll head off then. If I don't see you again, it was good meeting you, Chase. I feel a swell of guilt building my chest. Oh, leaving so soon? Yeah, I gotta take Carl home. I've been watching him out back, and he's just been sitting by himself. Nope, not talking to anybody. I can relate. <laughs> I frown, but I don't understand. What? 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 <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> what <is> just happened? <laughs> we just got to a fist fight. <laughs> we just, we just, we just, we just got swatted. Drop. This is poor dog when he has not been exercised. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. He, was, he ended up like yeah, <laughs> the paper on the ground, which luckily didn't really have much on it. It is just hot, like pounces on. He's going for his toy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your toy, sure. Do you want to hop up? No. I frown, but not understanding. I hear you. It was good meeting you too, Lieutenant Daxton. I manage to smile, and he does as well, fortunately. I'm not gonna say I'm beaming out. I'm just gonna walk away now. Uh, of course. See ya! The salamander waves at the both of us, backstepping his way to the front door. Oh god, why are you shirtless? <laughs> Oh, because you that. all want to see me this time. Oh. I forgot about that. <laughs> Thank you, Sam, for the immediate like comedic timing of that. Why does... <laughs> I'm shirtless because everybody wants this dad bod. All right, to remind you of why he's actually shirtless, they were having a barbecue, and he was the one over the grill, and it's over That's 100 right. degrees outside, so he took off the shirt to, you know, maybe avoid a little heat stroke. Or... This game finds any excuse to kick Pete to kick his character shirts off. Okay, there's that as well. But the other thing is, don't forget, he's also trying to tempt Chase to go back to a relationship with him. So he might. What? Show Who me? No. He might, I, right, okay. All right. If you. I'm say, not. I'm, I just want to chat. Well, then say your lies, damn it. <laughs> Let me come around then, yeah. Feels wrong to have, be, to have to be looking up at you. Like, the natural order of the universe is messed up. If you say so, be my guest. Great! Theo quickly pushes himself away from the window, darting off around the house. Tail wagging behind him. Here we go. Theo steps into what was my old living room, his eyes on his phone. I raise an eyebrow toward him. Something up? Pops wants me to shop in Peyton in an hour from now, even though it's my day off. <laughs> what the hell? I guess labor laws don't apply when it's family. Yeah. Fuck it. 
No, I think I still do. (laughs) I'd choose spending time with you if it meant getting chewed out. I'd choose spending time with you if it meant getting chewed out by the parents any day. He shoves his phone into his pocket, smiling down at me all the while. He does enjoy that high difference, doesn't he? Something in the back of my mind seems to whisper, not as tall as Flynn. Though I quickly shoved that thought aside. Whoa! Jeez! Whoa, Leo peers around, touching the faded green wood paneling that surrounds the room. I remember the first time I was here, back in Halloween of 2000. Your mom invited me over. I didn't speak a bit of English, but English. I didn't have no damn costume. But your parents thought we were friends, so I got ushered in here. Your mom cut up one of your old bed sheets and maybe a ghost looking outfit. Oh jeez, I remember that. I threw a little tantrum because I apparently liked those sheets. Leo crosses his arms, grinning as he stares at a spot in the corner of the room. My Hispanic ass didn't know what the hell you guys were doing to me. I start snickering some. I thought it was a ritual or something to steal my soul, I don't know. That was right around the time I was learning about the devil and shit. It was just bad juju to me, all all of it. What the hell was that? That's the dog chewing on the Kong, is my assumption. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey, buddy, yes. let's go over here. Come here, Randall. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, because like, I'd rather let the dogs enjoy itself. I think people would be okay with that. No, I thought I was just confused. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, there was one time, I think, was it when... <laughs> the dogs uh, vibe. All right, Hannah, DJ, am I going to need to bleep that name? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you can. Probably, yes. Although mm-hmm. that could be, like, literally anyone because it's a first name, but still. True, but I, I mean, like, any first name I try and bleep usually if, like, they're not That's somebody true. in the group. Randall, would you? Dang it. I was sc- gonna start screaming my name over and over again. <laughs> you try having him Sep, 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 sep. Stella! Well, I've got to bleep that one as well, DJ. <laughs> it's not a real <laughs> I know, I'm joking. <laughs> He makes a little motion of crossing himself. Leo's a complete atheist nowadays, but he still has that whole whole cultural Catholicism ingrained in him. Oh my god. I'll need to find some pictures of us from back then sometime. I had the biggest buck teeth, so I wanted to be a rabbit. I was too young to understand the speciest implications of that idea. Leo chuckles heartily, kicking an errant piece of wood out of the way. Who you end up being? I forgot. I think I was a knight? Or a wizard? That might have been 2001. Ah oh, man, 2001. Everybody was a soldier or commando that year because of the whole terrorist stuff. What? No! What? Uh, God. I mean, I kind of remember that a little bit, but that was also because uh, where I grew up, I was near a military base, so... Okay. Yeah. Up it wasn't terrorists. Like no, who does no, they, no one dressed up as terrorists. They dressed up as soldiers or commandos. Like I'm oh, a soldier. Okay. I'm in the U.S. Army. Like that oh, was okay. pretty common for where I was. But yeah, that yeah, was yeah, yeah. more because we were literally at a military base. I misinterpreted mm-hmm. the original statement. Okay. All right, and I dressed up as a a pizza. Leo laughs, wagging his finger at me and nodding. A pizza. That was the best costume. I could barely move. You kept falling over. I didn't fall over, Shula. I kept getting pushed over by... by... Leo's cheery demeanor sombers some, and he exhales. I remember who kept pushing him over well. For quite for a time, Leo wiping some dust off the bottom of his feet. I'd, um, offer you a seat if this place still had furniture. He waves dismissively at the offer before beginning to wring his paws together. It was always really obvious when Leo was tense or nervous growing up. His shoulders would be raised up high and his tail had a slight curl to it. Right now, he looks just like that. Leo? 
He opens his mouth as if to say something, but doesn't. Instead, he just turns, looking back toward that corner. Leo, is everything alright? What happened to you, Chase? The question takes me off guard. I was expecting the worst, but the general nature of it has me confused. What? He turns, looking over his shoulder. You're doing this. Did I do something? Serious like? Uh, Otter, tell me now, please. I don't understand. You haven't done anything wrong. Besides yeah, but you like that into lizard. Flynn's, yeah, besides bust into Flynn's place and assault him, of course. <laughs> I'll keep that to myself for now. I know what you're doing. And you know, I know what you're doing. No. I'm not dumb you now. I know I'm not. Especially that we've had problems. Everything, Everything that we've had in the had problems in the past was because of miscommunication shit. Nothing I say is as smart as Jenna or TJ or funny as Carl and Flynn. I gotta translate everything in my head so it's just slower. Talking to me is hard. Yeah, I, I get that. Just... Just fucking try for me, please. Uh, honestly, too. He looks at me. His chest rising and falling with some quickened pace. I slowly step to the side, resting my back against the wall and sliding down to a sitting position. I sit crisscrossed and stare at the gap between my legs. You're not hard to talk with. I am. Chase. Just say it. Without thinking, I do. I had sex with Flynn. We're not on the best of terms right now, Leo. I hear Leo take a step forward, then stop. Okay. I... Okay. He takes a deep breath. So have I, yeah? That's... That's not the end of the world. Alright, now I'm curious. How many of you guys had picked up that Leo and Flynn might have been a thing at one point? Not me! Nope. <laughs> nope. I don't think I was paying But I want that me. salamander. I want him bad. <laughs> no! <laughs> Flynn is the Gila monster, not a salamander. No, no. He just no, wants to take of, a nurse virginity. You're, you're thinking of um, Daxton. Daxton. Yeah. I mean, everybody wants Daxton. <laughs> it's a Daxton is awesome. You want some Daxton? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> what? Despite everything, despite my actions, it sort of feels like I was just hit in the gut. When? After you left for college. I swear, on my neck. I let out a big breath of air, feeling like a hypocrite. A silence falls between us. It feels like Leo is practically leering over me, but I can't muster up the courage to look up. Have you... well... have you had others? With you, Chase? What? I said, says you, Chase. <laughs> uh, no, remember, the only person that Chase has slept with, aside from Leo now, is Flynn in this route. At the beginning really? of the game, literally he, the only person he had ever been with had been Leo at the beginning of the game. But Chase is a horny boy. Yeah, but he's never acted on it. Only for his friends. <laughs> I mean, I, if you can't I, be horny for your friends, who can you be horny for? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I don't regret have you, you haven't no. seen Harrison. Yes, I have. You haven't actually seen him full physical form. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna take weird, a few man. steps, we're gonna take a few awkward steps back from this. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, I'm gonna say my line. Oh, I didn't know you didn't say it. Yes, but nothing else ever felt the same as, you know... 
like Flynn. I can't go to that place outside of town and just... But... I... I tried. And it felt so wrong and fucked up. It's not the same. I just don't understand. Why does he have an issue with dolphins? What? Mm, I don't know. You remember that one episode that we did that only had us going and seeing dolphins and that was all there was? Yep. <laughs> it was a good time. What's the point of learning about dolphins if it's not <laughs> with your love, you know? Only so much you can learn about dolphins no, before you like really learn bad. everything it's about bad. dolphins, you know? Mm-hmm. And you wanted to be. And and I, I'm not talking about the whole cultural religious merda where you gotta marry and all that. Because I know how Flynn ticks and I know how I tick. It's completely different, yeah? I hear the floorboards creak beneath his feet. The wolf shifting his weight from foot to foot. I just... I just thought... You were like me in some sort of way. For, for Flynn... This is nothing. This is just another notch on the wall. I cross my arms over my chest tightly, feeling cold sweat on my neck. You show up for the first time in years, like you don't want nothing to do with me. I get it, you know, I'm good at sports stuff and car stuff, and none of you gave a shit about that. And that was fine. Just roll your eyes at Leo. I just like to have my friends around. All of them. But especially you. Another pause. You are... You are... You are like family. Hell, you can't just flick a switch and stop being family. Growing up with the shit we dealt with... Leo, we got your real family. And you know what they always ask about? You. Well, you've got Flynn and Carl still. Flynn's! Ah, Flynn is. And Carl? He's not doing too hot. I don't know how long he'll last. Long he'll last? What the hell are you talking about? I... I don't know, Otter. Just look at him sometime. Really look at him and his whole... Leo trails off into a long sigh. You all left, and it was never the same. So, I pretend. I remember all the stuff you used to say. Even the next bit. You're there with work while I'm fixing cars. I pretend I'm teaching you about the basics, like changing oil or replacing headlights. I I know it's not riveting stuff, but it's all good because you love me. I love you too. And I drive home, listening to. Whatever is on the radio, I imagine you reacting to it. Groaning every time the word truck is mentioned in a country song. Making some snide ass remark at the, pol- at the political ads. I get home, go online, and look. There's this polling guy. Big red, you know? I click on the social media shit, and it's you. The real you. And... 
You're different. You're wearing new shirts. Hanging with new friends. Drinking fancy college beers and... Feels like... I'm losing you all over again. So I just... Avoid it. I... Pretend. I pretend that we're drinking together on the patio as the sun goes down. I pretend that you're watching me play my games. And I pretend that night, that pillow I've got my arms wrapped around is you. Making a little irk noise when I, when I ruffle your head first. We do. Neo chuckles bittersweetly. The gravity of his words seemed to take hold now that he's actually said them out loud. Jesus, Leo. A week ago, you showed up outside my window. The sky was red. You said, hey. Leo, what are you talking about? Why were you there, Chase? His tone is strange. Almost without inflection. Leo, I... I don't know what you mean. I wasn't here last week. Next thing I know, he's stepping closer toward me. He stops, then lowers himself to a sitting position against the wall. The wolf's arms stretch the wolf's arms stretch around my torso and pull me against his side. Do we hug him oh, or do we just kinda of sit uh. with the hug that he's given? Randall. Randall. Alright, I hear a vote for Randall. Randall. Right, uh, do I nothing. Hear... Oh, okay, more votes for Randall and one vote for do nothing. Give him a hug. Alright, I got one and one. No. No, you're encouraging him. No hugs. Do nothing. All right, so just do nothing. Hug. Does this affect like the what no, happens? No, yeah, it's the same no matter what happens, no matter what you do. This is okay. The best comparison for this is this is kind of like the uh, do you hug like Azriel at the end of Undertale type of situation, or like where it, there's no real actual mechanical effect. It's just do you want to be like that or not? Okay. Yeah, do you want to be an asshole or do you want to be nice? I want to be an <laughs> asshole. But I say hug, but I don't you. really I know what's going on like, with it. Okay. I, I just, I just feel bad for Leo. I'll explain to you more in the future, Nick. I feel bad for Leo, but I don't know if I should or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. Uh, we lost okay. legs. No, 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 no. no, no. Sam, Sam, I will Sam, remind Sam. you of a different route. Yeah. It happened in other routes. Did not I don't happen. know anything about this game, so... It's okay. Maybe at some point in the future I'll play it with you, Nick. So uh, I'm so pleased. I made someone feel bad for Leo. I Yay! did it. No. <laughs> I mean, I'm all, bad all the work I've done. He, I have a feeling he's an <laughs> asshole, but I don't know yet. So, because all I've seen is no, what okay. we've played so far. He, okay. Quick so, summary. Okay. No. No. Don't spoil things. I'm probably gonna play this with Nick at some point in the future. I'm gonna just. Oh, I'm gonna put some of his character. I'm not gonna give any spoilers okay. of, of that. Okay. He is. Actually, what you just read sums him up fairly well, but he gets, but because he feels that way, because you feel, he feels so sad and feels so lonely and misses Chase a lot, he's also very clingy to, Chase is his ex, they broke up, and he's very clingy. Sounds like me. I, I wrote it to the character. <laughs> Yes, he did I don't know. I, I don't he did know. at the very beginning. <laughs> Give him a hug. What did I hear? Oh, also, dear. I just took a look at the uh, the little chat on Sinfield Popcorn Chat. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> your comment there, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I say, like, I, I, I think hugging him will just make him, like, just enable it. Yeah. But at the same time, not doing it will destroy them. <laughs> destroy him! Destroy him! Give him a okay. hug. Alright, I'm just gonna go by one by one for everyone that's here right now. So I know Nick and DJ are on hug, Team Hug. I know that Sam is on Team No Hug. Seb, you were also on No Hug? No Hug. Oh um, no, he's so hot. that's So we got <laughs> two and two. Oh, Hannah, are you on Team Hug? Harry, hug or no uh, hug? Nothing. Okay, no so, hug. 
No hug. Poor guy. Hannah, I don't hug or no hug? I'm conflicted because it's hug the poor guy. <laughs> no, make your own decision. You're an individual, <laughs> Hannah. You're a strong, independent voice actress, Hannah. Do what you please. You don't need no DJ. Oh, <laughs> don't need no. Look, just rip off the band-aid. There ain't no point. Like if uh, again. <laughs> oh, don't uh, give into peer pressure. The poor freaking puppy honestly, with his tail between his legs. Honestly, I don't know whether I'd want to give. If I was Chase, I'm not sure if I would want to give him a hug at the moment. But there's a, just because it's like. It's like, you just basically told me that... <laughs> Fantasize about yes, you. Yes, it's like, you have fantasies about me all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a little creepy. <laughs> and I mean, and, and I think you would... No, no, I what, think Chase would feel bad. He's like, not I like... He fan bad. He's fantasizing on memory, more so than on current Chase. Right? Then, no, no, then he's like, why were you outside my window last week, Chase? Chase, like, yeah. I wasn't here. I'm why were you insane. outside? <laughs> The whole, oh, he's just doing regular fantasies. Here, Harry and I are like going like, ha ha, ha ha. Regular fantasies. Sure. But at the end, definitely was not a regular fantasy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, uh, Damn, for a decision that doesn't really affect much, we're really going into this. <laughs> well, we, uh -huh. that's a right, it's fine. Fine. I'll, I'll say, do nothing. Do what? Nothing. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No! Wait, did he get excited for a hot second and then realize what she said? I guess it is better in the long run. Can we go back and like see what if there's like any like difference? Like sure. Well, okay. So then what we'll do is we'll have committing to hug for right now, and then we'll go back and actually do do nothing for real. Okay. You guys suck. <laughs> yes, I do. Welcome to well, my world. Copping out through time. A little travel. bit, yes. Also, I never got your vote, Blake, but now like, it's guaranteed on the uh, do nothing. I, I, I don't know. I, uh... <laughs> Did he oh. just dip? <laughs> Did I mean, when you have to. No, you think. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, he actually did dip. Puppy oh. dog. Uh, excellent. Uh, the no, if only Harrison would be. Puppy dog. Oh, I put this puppy dog. If you're trying to make me feel bad, it's n not working. <laughs> I'll hug Liam one more time. Oh, welcome dog. back, Blake. <laughs> Hello again. There was a decision made. Yeah, I, I mean, well, like I said, we're already going to do the hug, and then we're going to move back to the uh, not do nothing, because that was what people had voted on, but Hannah wanted to see at least what hug looked like for a little bit first. I've hugged Leo more times in my life than I could ever count. I don't think he's ever needed one as much as he does now. Exactly. Let me just rest against my shoulder. He puts more weight on me, and I had to prop myself up to keep from falling over. He's so heavy now. With how rough this week has been begun to turn, I kind of need a little of this a little too. I hear him clearing his throat. Things aren't great here, Chula. People vote, people, when, when all you gotta do is hug someone to make them feel a little bit better, people say that they don't want to. Why would I ever want to make you feel better? That's stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> There's something really wrong with Leo. <laughs> as different as he Ooh. says I am, something is truly different with him. Oh, I like this. The music, the sad music just cuts if you pick this option. It does. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh, feel bad now, huh, Anna? No. Huh? <laughs> no, well, the I sad the music, music um, turned off. <laughs> See, it's telling you you don't need to feel sad on this iteration. <laughs> I keep my paws in my uh -huh. lap. He puts more weight on me, and I had to prop myself up to keep him falling over. He's so heavy now. I hear him clearing his throat. Things aren't great here, Chula. I was trying to act like they were. You know now. I just know if you were here, I could protect you and things would be better. Leo, that might not be true. And I don't need protecting. Leo says nothing. The minutes pass. I can hear TJ talking excitedly about something out in the backyard, with Jenna chiming in occasionally. Hi, Bob. Finally, Leo pulls back. 
TJ is playing with his cat. I is got it... my cat! Okay, yep. Alright. He looks at me, as if about to ask a question, but seemingly decides he doesn't want to know the answer. So... This is pretty something, yeah? I rub my paw against my forehead. Not as pretty something as your fake pillow me, or me pillow you sleep with at night. I expect Leo to laugh at that, but he just peers at me with this sort of melancholy smile. Yeah. He pushes himself to his feet, dusting off the back of his pants. Let me know if you need help with the project or anything. I'll be around. Okay. But, hey. His tail perks up some, Wolf turning to look down at me. You should see somebody. I mean, about what you just told me. Never worked for you, Otter. I sigh. Yeah, but it could for you. Leo shrugs. Maybe. I'll see you later. You guys okay. suck. We could have had a moment. No. Everyone have moments. I, I think I think it probably would have had I'm a similar sorry. outcome. <laughs> you guys all suck. Look, okay. you're, okay. you're, DJ, no. DJ, you're just upset that we couldn't be with Kudzu in this route. Everyone's Kudzu. upset about that. Kudzu is the best. Kudzu. We all know. Kudzu. Kudzu. I mean, I mean, yes. Okay. I mean, yes. All right. He gives me the best reassuring smile before yeah. he heading outward, running his paws along the walls as he leaves. After a while, I stand as well. Oh. I notice something odd sitting on top of the water heater. Curious, I pick it up. Oh. So, in the other one where you talk with Daxon, it's just a picture of Chase alone. Oh. Oh. I remember that. I don't remember much else about that conversation, but I remembered that it was a different picture. Mm -hmm. It turns out they, they discuss different things in each one. Um, so, I promised you guys way back when, when we played Route 65, we would find out what was in the voicemail. This is the moment. Oh. I never knew Mom framed this. This is from high school, I think. Senior year? She always wanted a picture of the two of us. I always thought it was kind of weird how okay my parents were with us being together. I remember how they found out I was gay. I remember after they found out I was gay. I thought things would be ruined and I wouldn't be, I don't know, normal. Then they sent me a voicemail saying that they loved me and it didn't really matter. Your happiness is priority number one. I wonder if they forgot this during the move. Though, I guess it's kind of a weird picture. I wouldn't be surprised if they left it on purpose. I haven't talked to them much lately. I should go. And I think that's a good place to call this episode. Woo! Yeah. 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 Right. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye! Bye. Bye.